everybody, welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm coming at you with an interesting video. I want to talk about water. Behind me, you can see there's some water. That's what the topic of this video is about. Okay, everybody, in my hands, I have two like bottles with water in them. This one bottle number one and this one I'll refer to as bottle number two. Now just by looking at the bottles alone you know they both have water in them which one would you drink? Bottle number one or bottle number two? Most people including myself would probably say that we would drink bottle number one because it looks clearer, you know, the water looks cleaner, it appears to be better than bottle number two over here. But let me explain something to you. The difference between this bottle number one and this bottle number two is bottle number one has only been filtered. The water has only been filtered. It has not been purified yet. This bottle of water, although it appears to be better, it would actually be worse to drink than bottle number two because bottle number two has been filtered and purified now you're probably wondering well how is it discolored if it's been purified the method of purification that I used for bottle number two was these purification tablets okay these are iodine based tablets these these have six point six percent iodine in them. There's no chlorine in these tablets. So basically what you do is you take two of these tablets and you put them into a quart of water. Well since these bottles are half quart I use one tablet. Again it's iodine based so it changes, it alters the color of the water. It also alters the taste of the water. But what these tablets do in an emergency situation is they kill bacteria, they kill viruses, they kill Jardia, but they've not been shown to inactivate crystal sporidium. Okay, so the two bottles, this one's the one to drink, bottle number two. Now, <clears throat> it is going to have a different taste than probably this bottle because of the iodine. But in a survival situation, the water that's in this bottle is much safer to drink. You still run the risks of drinking cryptosporidium which could cause vomiting, diarrhea, things of that nature. Now in a survival situation I'd much rather be found alive coming out of both ends, you know, puking diarrhea and everything else, hydrated. I'd much rather be found dead, uh, you know, excuse me, alive puking and diarrhea than I would be found dead because I didn't drink the water. So, my personal ideal method for purification of water is boiling that water. Now again, the higher altitude you are, the more boil time you need to be. These tablets are not to be used on a continuous basis. So if you have the ability to boil your water to purify it, you're not going to change the color of it. It would still look like this, except it would be purified because you boiled it it's already been filtered. Now when you walk around with this bottle number two again because it's been purified with iodine and then that, and again that's an emergency purification it's not something you want to do on a regular basis but what it does like I said earlier is it changes the taste it alters the taste of the water so if you're going to be using iodine to clean your water to purify it I would recommend taking some sort of Kool-Aid or some sort of Mayo, some kind of drink mix that you can pour into this that will neutralize that taste. Now, with all that being said, my highest recommendation, I said it before and I'm going to say it again, is boiling your water because I don't want to deal with this. Now, you know, a lot of people just based on looking at the color of the water alone, they would be scared to drink it. It's perfectly safe. It really is. You know, this is a 16 ounce bottle perfectly safe to drink. You have to let those tablets sit in there for like 
half an hour. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this water. From a bacteria perspective, it's much cleaner. Now I can taste the iodine, so some kind of drink mix would be really nice. So again, if you're, if you're one of the people that's going to get hung up on the fact that this is discolored, do you drink iced tea? Do you drink coffee? Do you drink soda? Because all that is is discolored water. What makes this any different? So again, I want to say thank you guys for watching. I hope that this video had some useful information for you. Please feel free to comment, like, share this video, thumbs up. And as always, have a beautiful day. Now go out there, filter and purify some water. Later. We'll see you next time.